So in this video, I'm going to uh, try to deploy a React application into an S3 bucket inside of AWS. So let's get this started. Let's start getting by um, create, create React app. And let's just call it React AWS S3. And while that is running, let's go ahead and start creating our our um, s3 bucket here on aws so if you don't have an aws account go ahead and create one they're free and once you're logged in just go into in the search and type in like s3 and you should be using the first one here once you go into s3 buckets um notice that this service is global so you don't have to worry about different regions okay s3 buckets are usually global and we're gonna go ahead and create a bucket this bucket names are um globally unique okay this is this says so here so make sure that whatever name you choose is unique so we could we could call it like react aws s3 bucket and then i'm gonna just put my initials and um go ahead and put yours i know that it says that you where you're gonna host it on the region and you can just pick Virginia but it is a global service okay um, we're not gonna copy from existing bucket um, settings uh, object ownership we're not gonna um, worry about that for right now this is important here we don't want to block all public access to this bucket okay we don't want to block um, the access so we want to uncheck this okay so that basically this bucket is public right now it's just for testing it's just to get this up out and um for you to be able to access your bucket and be able to to see the your react application up in the in the, in the cloud okay so i'm going to go ahead and acknowledge this um, bucket versioning we can disable that tags we don't need tags default encryption we don't need that advanced settings we don't need any other stuff so just go ahead and create a bucket while well, that's been created let's go ahead and go into um, our react aws and we can simply just start um our react app let's see make sure that runs and then once we're inside of our bucket that we just created um we created the last one here react on aws s3 um, js so it's publicly publicly accessible okay um and why do i have stuff in this one um this is probably the old one. Oh, sorry it's this one react aws system so there's nothing in here inside of this bucket okay and we do see our app is running locally and localhost 3000 beautiful so now we want to um put our app in here okay we have it we want to have it um, publicly accessible so what we could do is we could start stop this project here we could go to I can just open we could run npm run build before we run that let's just look at it real quick inside of VS code so that you guys can see it um, and we can explain it a little bit okay so by default our our item here our react app does not have a build folder as you can see right but when we run npm run start okay notice that this is going to give us a little message where it says if you want to make a build for production you have to run this npm run build okay so basically this npm run build creates a build folder here for us so if we do npm run build it's going to create the build folder for us here watch boom create it for us it's going to start putting stuff inside of it basically here is like um translating everything all of our react code all of our jsx into chunk files and these chunk files are basically are going to be um serving everything inside of our index.html so in essence what, what i'm trying to say is that we need the content from our build folder 
to go into our S3 bucket, okay? The content, not the build folder itself, but the content. So I'm gonna right click, I'm gonna reveal in Finder so that I can reveal in Finder my build folder. I can go inside of my build folder, okay? And I wanna drag and drop all of the objects inside of my build folder. Not the build folder itself, but the objects inside. I'm gonna drag and drop them into my S3 bucket. And as you can see, you can see um, you can see all of the items there. Then I'm going to click Upload. Okay. Now, um, as they start to successfully upload into the S3 bucket, I could go ahead and I'm going to close this guy here. Then I could go to Properties, and on the Properties, really, really important, all the way to the bottom, it says here where it says Static Website Hosting is currently disabled. Okay, we need to go ahead and enable that. Okay, so we're going to click on edit, we're going to click on enable, and then we're going to host a static site. Okay, it's going to be a static site here. Um, this is important, make sure this is, this is index.html for the error page, also index.html because it is a um, it is a single page application, right? Uh, React or spas. Okay, with direction rules, just don't worry about that. And we should be good. Save changes. Once we save the changes, we should be able to come back here to properties, go all the way to the bottom. And now we have a nice looking link that we could copy with those two little squares. Then we can open a new tab, paste, and see what we get. Well, right now we get four bin access. Access is denied. Okay, so why is that denied? Well, we have um, open open our S3 bucket to be accessible to the world with under permissions, right? But we still need to apply some type of bucket policy, okay? So I'm gonna go ahead and edit this, and I'm gonna go ahead and just paste some code here, um, which I'll give you a link to in the description of this. So basically, I'm gonna paste this in here. Okay, very important. Make sure that there's no space. There's no space in line one. Okay, and this is the uh, path to my resource. Okay, this is not what my current resource looks like or is the name, right? But if you notice, my bucket ARN is right here. So I could just literally copy this guy here. Okay, and once I copy it, I could go ahead and paste it right before that slash there. And that's what it looks like. I'm going to go ahead and save the changes here. Once it's saved, it's publicly accessible. Now I could go to properties. And maybe I could go to the forbidden tab and do a refresh. And you see my React app is now available to the world. Okay, now this is a link that now you could give to anybody and they'll be able to see your React app anywhere. Okay, notice that it's not secure, okay? It's only HTTP. Now, that will be a se separate video because we will have to get a SSL certificate, we have to get a domain, and all that other legwork we have to do 